Hey guys, and it's Ben, and welcome back to episode... I don't know what episode this is. Welcome back to another Bucket Plugin tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at networking, so getting little bits of data from another server. So if we want to get the amount of players that are on a different server, the MOTD of a different server, you know, stuff like that. So let's get right into it. What we're going to do is I want to make a new class, and we're going to call this server. Uh, so this is where we, you know, we're going to make a new server, and then we can query that server. Um, so we can make different instances of this server class. So we want to make uh, two variables at the top. We want to make a private string, which is going to be the host, and we want to make a private int, which is going to be the port. Um, pri <laughs> private int, which is going to be the port, and we're going to define these in the constructor for this class. So what we want to do is we want to type public server, and in here we're going to take the host, so string host, and the port. Uh, and then we're going to say host is equal to host, sorry, no, um, this dot host is equal to host, and this dot, this dot port is equal to port. So we're saying this, the host, um, that's in this class, so this dot host, this class is host, is equal to the host we've given it, um, and then same with the port, so if we were to make a new instance of this class, we give it those two things, and, uh, we go away. Um, we also, I'm going to make another one of these, um, we're going to say uh, public uh, server and we're going to say string host and we don't need the port, we're just going to say this dot host is equal to host and then this dot port is equal to 25565 which is the default Minecraft port. Uh, I'm going to make another one actually which is going to be public server string host or actually no it's not going to be anything, not going to take anything and we're going to say this Ooh, this dot host <laughs> this dot host is equal to um, one dot zero dot zero dot one two seven I think is your local host or it's ten dot zero dot zero dot one two seven so actually I, I don't know what the local host IP is once again okay so I'm back and that was completely wrong it's one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one so then we're gonna say uh, this dot port um, is equal to two five five six five like that. So now what we want to do is now we've made those three constructors, 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 so that you know we can make our, our this class and we can make it easier if we want to do things like we don't need the port for some things and we don't need the anything for another if we're just gonna ping localhost or whatever. Uh, we're going to make uh, something which is going to collect data from the server. So to do that, we're just gonna make a, um, a method. I'm gonna say public string pass data uh, like that. And in here, we're going to take something called a connection, um, which we're going to make in a minute, and it's going to be an enumeration. So we're going to make a um, a pri no a public a public enumeration. We're going to call this connection like that. Uh, and in this enumeration, uh, what we want to have is if I actually just look at my piece of paper, uh, we want players underscore online. So you know we could we could search for the players online, or we could search for uh, the server version. So the server version, um, or we could search for the MOTD. So modded, and you know we could go on for a bit, but I'm just going to do those those ones because that's what we're going to actually query for in our thing. So we're just going to make a, a try and catch statement around this because we're using networking stuff. So obviously we could um, throw errors if the server's not online or whatever. Um, and actually, I where's the other thing? there it is. Uh, okay. Okay, I've got. Okay, so, um, so what we want to do at the end of this catch statement is sweet. Oh, the phone's going off. One second, I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. Sorry about that. I had another cold call. We're getting more of them recently. Okay, so anyway, we just want to return, um, return uh, nothing basically, um, because you know it's failed. Basically, we don't want it to return anything. So, what are we going to try and do? We are going to, um, we're going to make a, a suppress warning. So, actually, no, we don't need that. Wait a minute. So, we're going to open a new socket. So, socket, socket uh, is going to be equal to a new socket. Oh, socket. And if you don't know what a socket is, basically, it's it's from the, the, the networking part of Java. And it's something that we're going to open to try and uh, get, get into, so we can send things with the socket. 
uh, we can connect to certain places and then we can get streams from the place we get to. So we'll exp I'll spend a moment in a minute and we want to get an output stream. So if you've ever done anything with um, files, you'll know that um, OS, output stream OS, uh, we're going to import output stream from java.io. So if you've ever done anything with files, you know that to, to put things into a file we need an output stream. Uh, we're going to get a data output stream, uh, which is just basically, so DOS, uh, and all that is, is it's, it's an output stream that outputs data. We're going to get uh, an input stream, input stream, and we're going to call that IS, and then a date or input stream reader, sorry, uh, input stream reader, so that, that will read what... Um, what is coming through? So now we want to uh, say socket. Or oh, let's let's go down the line. We want to say socket. Dot set so timeout uh, for about you know 2,500 uh, milliseconds. So after 2.5 seconds, the socket will time out if nothing has connected. Uh, then after that, we're going to say socket dot connect. So this is what we're going to try and connect, and we're going to say it's going to be equal to a new inet socket. Oh god, my Skype's going off. Let me. Let's. Online status, do not disturb. Okay, so let's say. Um, we want to make it into a new inet socket address. Um, socket address. And in here, we are going to take. Uh, you see, we have the host that will be the string, and the port will be the int. So in here, we just put host port. And then the timeout is going to be 2500. So 2.5 seconds. Uh, we then want to say the output stream, or no, what do we call it? We call it the OS. So that's going to be equal to socket, because we've just connected. So that socket's now you know connected to that place, and we're going to get the output stream from there. We want to say the data output stream. So DOS is equal to socket, or no, sorry, equal to a new uh, data output stream, which is going to be the output stream, <laughs> basically. Uh, we're just making a new um, object of the data output stream and we're just going to use the output stream as the argument to get the data from but that's going to output data instead of just outputting you know other stuff so the input stream so is is going to be equal to socket dot get input stream and like above we're going to say isr so input stream reader is equal to a new input stream reader and so we've got to be sort of careful. We're going to say input stream is the first one. Then we're going to say comma. And we're going to say char set dot for name. And in here we're going to type UTF, all in caps, dash 16BE. Now what this is doing is it means it's going to read, um, if, if we actually, if we get control space, you'll see the char set is going to be what the, the given decoder sort of is. So... We're going to give it the input stream, and then we're going to give it this char set um, for the string, which is going to, you know, get all that data for us in, and it's going to send out all that data in the certain format that it wants. Uh, we're going to say DOS, so our data output stream, dot write. So we're going to write to the server a new byte array, and then in brackets we're going to put uh, byte. We're going to cast this to a byte, and it's going to be OXFE in caps. And then we're going to say comma, and then we're going to say byte. And that's going to be O, X, O, 1, like that. Uh, and then we want to close that bracket off there. Um, did I type it wrong? I put a capital B. There you go. New byte. And that's not in right. Okay, so make sure you cast it right like that. So we've casted that to a byte, and then we want to cast this to a byte. So, O X O one, O X O one. No, it's O X O one. That's in the wrong place. There we go. Okay, cool. So we've now written to the server uh, those those bytes, and we're going to get it returned to something. So uh, int packet id is equal to the is dot read. So it's going to return something. The server's going to return a packet id. And now we just want to do a few packet checks. So if the packet ID, let's uh, let's actually just copy the packet ID. Um, packet ID is equal to negative one. Then we want to say you know system or system dot out dot print line. 
uh, invalid va valid packet ID and then in brackets EOS so end of stream uh, we then want to say if the packet ID is not equal to O times FF which is what it should return um, I should know that that's not that's not an invalid packet ID. That's just saying that you know it, it hasn't returned something that's correct. Uh, what we want to do is we want to return, or not return, but we want to print out uh, invalid packet ID, and then you know we can just add the packet ID. Um, so plus packet ID. Uh, then we want to check uh, for the length of the packet ID. So int length is equal to uh, the input stream reader dot read so that's going to be return something from the server and we want to say if length is equal to negative one then you know we're just going to print out <clears throat> end of stream because the length is wrong or it's invalid uh, and then we want to check if the length is equal to zero we want to s print out uh, invalid stream or is it stream um in, invalid length I'm sure say length so I don't get confused um, and then we want to get a character array so an array of character which we'll call this chars and this is going to be equal to a new character of uh, character array uh, and it's going to be the size of the length of the, uh, the the integer that the that's the the uh, input stream reader no sorry uh, that the input stream reader returned when it queried the server. Now, we want to check if the input stream reader uh, dot read. So if we read the uh, character array uh, chars that we've made, uh, zero and length is not equal to length. Then what we want to do is we want to print out end of stream because what when we're reading. Uh, the chars and then we're reading the uh, the offset being zero and the length of the if we can read it here actually the if if when we read the the destination buffer the offset which to start the storing characters and the maximum number of characters to read uh, is not equal to length so if that doesn't return what we returned up here then we just want to you know exit out of that and say end of stream uh, we should really be returning out of these but in the end it will throw an exception and we will just return null anyway so all it will be doing is the same thing um, what we now want to do is we want to actually query the server so we're going to say string uh, string of the uh, string so we're just going to make a string called string and it's going to be equal to a a new string because we're going to be making a new string but we're going to turn it turn it into the chars so from the character the character array that we had we're going to turn that into a big string so now this is where we get the stuff we're going to say if connection which is the you know connection thing we passed up here if that is equal to connection uh, connection dot players online so if, if that is the players online connection what we want to do is we want to say um, well actually we should we should get the data of the string so we want to say oh sorry we want to say string array uh, data and that's going to be equal to string dot um, split at uh, backspace zero. Make sure it's a backspace and make sure it's a zero. And then we want to, in connection of players online, we're going to return the integer dot pass int from the data at four, which is where the players online will be. And then we're going to plus, you know, uh, the slash out of. And then, oh, sorry, uh, like like this. So plus uh, slash, and then plus integer dot pass int of data at five, like that. So it's going to say like something out of something. So how many players online out of the maximum amount of players? Uh, so that is how we do the the players online. So now we're going to say else if connection. So connection is equal to connection. Uh, dot motd all we want to return here is we want to return the data at three because that's where the um, motd is stored so else if the connection is equal to is equal to connection 
dot server version we want to uh, return um, the data at two which is what the server version is and then else we just want to you know uh, print out like they put in a wrong connection so uh, connection value not handled and then return or oh, no we'll just do that finish that there uh, you'll see up here we're getting an error just add a return statement down here because uh, which we're trying to do why well, okay yeah add suppress warnings to that we're trying to do all of this if we do it we're gonna catch this exception uh, we actually need to return null here um, and then they'll get rid of the error because we're handling everything you know if, if it fails return null if it fails here we'll return null so yeah um, so now if we go back into our main class and we actually if we just make a main method to public static void main string array args so that's gonna be run whenever we run this uh, we can say system well, actually let's make a new server so server server equals new server and the host and port is going to be w1.thebatnight.com the port will be 25565 but obviously we don't need that so we can just remove that there we can now say system dot out dot print line uh, server dot pass data at connection dot uh, players online so if we run this now you'll see down in our console we're gonna say 6 out of 20 and if I open up my game you'll see there are 6 out of 20 players online in W1 if I were to query server 3 and run this it would say 0 out of 20 because there are 0 out of 20 players online uh, if I were to query the um, MOTD for server 1 then it would say it's resetting because the game is resetting if I were to query it for server 2 it would say uh, this game is in lobby because this game is in lobby. These are color codes, by the way, so ignore them. Um, and if I were to query the uh, server version, then it would tell me that it's in 1.5. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.